This demonstration is going to be an example of how to use synthetic division to divide two polynomials. It's a lot faster way than long division is or than by factoring. What you do is you use the coefficients in each one of the polynomials and you set it up like this. Make sure everything is in correct descending order. Draw a box and then write the coefficients down for each of the terms. This would be a 1, negative 6, positive 10, negative 10, and a positive 12. Then you go to the divisor and ask yourself what will make this equal to 0. And in this case the answer would be 2. And you put the 2 out there. So I'm just going to keep these separated in steps. So now that you've done your setup, you can go ahead and start your synthetic division. The way synthetic division works is that you take the leading term and you simply bring it down and put the 1 there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the 2 and multiply it by the 1 and you put the result here. So 2 times 1 is 2. You're then going to add these two numbers and get negative 4. Then you start all over again, the whole process. 2 times negative 4 gives you negative 8. Again, let's go ahead and make sure we're clear on that. That times that, and you put it there. Then you go ahead and add these two numbers, and you get 2. Let's continue. 2 times 2 will give you 4. You put the 4 there. Basically, it's just like a little bounce going on there. You add these two numbers, and you get negative 6. Try it one more time. 2 times negative 6 gives you negative 12. When you add those two, you're going to get zero. That's going to work out great, because that means that this number came out evenly. That divided by that came out evenly. Now we have to interpret what these numbers mean. And we'll do that in our next step. <coughs> the coefficient now is 1. Go up to your original problem, and it's x to the fourth. What you've done is you've just taken away one of the x's, so you've done x 1x to the third. And now you continue down in a descending order from there. These are the coefficients, remember. Minus 4x squared, because it's one lower than x cubed. Put the negative 4 there. That would be plus 2x to the first, and then minus 6. This x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 6 is your answer. If you were to take this and multiply it by x minus 2, use any box method you want, use a uh, modified FOIL method, you'll get back to this original answer. These are your two factors, and that's how you do synthetic division. Let me go over it one more time. Put everything in correct descending order. Use the coefficients 1, negative 6, 10, negative 10, positive 12. Go to your denominator and ask yourself what will make it equal to 0. And the answer is 2 and that's what we're going to use out here. First step is to bring down the leading coefficient. Multiply, put that result here, the product there. Add get negative 4. Multiply, that goes here. Add, you get positive 2. Multiply, you get 4. Add, you get negative 6. Multiply, you get negative 12. Add, you get 0. These numbers are the coefficients for your new factor. And remember, you're always starting one less than what was up here. 
There are some variations to this, and we can get to those in different examples.